My main video this week is a little bit short, so I've decided to do a second video showing a couple of interesting records I picked up recently. And if you've seen the thumbnail and you recognize the country on there, then your geography is better than mine because that country is Peru. And I'd never actually seen any records from Peru, but I have a couple to show you here today. And there's a, an interesting story behind them. I'll just show you the first one, first of all. This is Moody Blue. And the cover is actually not bad. It's laminated on both sides. The lettering is just slightly fuzzy, as though it's been copied, but I actually quite like it that way. Now, the back cover has a different color, completely different color to any other version that I've seen. Any guesses what the color is? There we go. It is yellow. And all the titles are on there in Spanish as well as English. And the label is similar to the American label of that period. These are, I think these date from 1977, by the way. They appear to have been released just after Elvis died. And the sound is really good, to be honest. Perfectly enjoyable, listenable copies. Now the second one, I'll show you the, I'll disguise, I'll hide the title. Let's see if you can guess what this album is. There's the front cover. And there's the back cover. Now, obviously, this is not Let's Be Friends or Funny in Acapulco or Elvis on stage. Any guesses? This is Golden Records, Volume 3. And this one appears to have been released around the same time as that Moody Blue album. Song titles at the top there are in English, actually, all in English. The label design is the same as the Moody Blue record. For some reason, the first song on side one, It's Now or Never, sounded a bit rough when I played it. Everything else sounded great. Perhaps there was a bit of dust on my needle, I'm not sure. And the story behind these two records is the, the man who bought the records was actually based overseas a lot with his work so he ended up buying a lot of records from foreign countries and uh, his son who was selling the records actually had a lot of other records from his father's collection all from foreign countries but that's it for this short video let me know if you have any interesting or unusual records from outside your country and i'll see you next time thanks for watching cheers